Hey everybody, it's Nick here, and I'm sure that if you are an administrator for a Dynamics 365 system, or you have created a series of power apps on the Power Platform, that sometimes your users are going to come back to you and they're going to say that they don't they don't have access to particular records in the system, or they try to do something and they get a, a warning or an error message, and we pretty much know it's going to be tied to security. So if I'm looking at this particular record here, we see that I'm actually the owner of that record. However, However, I'm logged in here as a different user and they're complaining that they don't have access to edit this particular record and they want to have the ability to do that. Now, this is a pretty straightforward uh, case of accessing that particular record, but sometimes it takes it's pretty hard to troubleshoot, especially specific security records within the Power Platform. And I know that there's some extra toolbox tools that can help with this. Um, sometimes we have to dig through the particular security logs. but or security roles rather, but there's actually something that we can do. It's a new feature. So I'm going to actually go into log into this particular record using my own account. So I'm in this uh, model driven app. I've now logged in as myself. However, you know, we've all been there when we kind of go back to our end users and say, well, it, it works for me. Now, of course, I have system admin uh, access to this particular uh, power app. So I have access to all the data. I can do all the full edits and everything like that. But we want to know why our particular user doesn't have access. So in the past, sometimes what we had to do is log in with a different user and try to replicate those security roles, which is definitely one way to diagnose this issue, but it is pretty time consuming. Well, I just want to point out there's a brand new feature that just got lit up fairly recently in the Power Platform, and it's called the Check Access. And if you see that it's in your main menu, you should have visibility to that. If you're a system administrator, there's the Check Access button. So let's just click on that. And what's going to happen is it's going to come up. And obviously, I have full access to this particular record. I have the full read, write, create, delete, append, append to, assign, and share. And it's because I have the system administrator role in this particular business unit. So that's great for me. I know I have access, but what about my end user? So let's actually take a look here. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put in the name of my particular user. And that's here. It's Derek. And now we can actually see that Derek has read, but he doesn't have write, create, or delete privileges on this particular record, nor does he have share. So this right away showed me what the limitation was. He doesn't have write. And if we look down, he only has the project user role assigned to him. So that's why he doesn't have the ability to edit that particular record. So like I said, a really simple example, but this is where this particular tool, you saw how quick it was. I just did a quick check, look up, put in the user, and I'm able to determine their particular privileges on that particular record. So it makes it a lot easier to diagnose. And then of course, what I can do is from here, I can drill down into that project user role. And of course, we are still using the legacy interface for this. I'm going to go to custom amenities and I'm going to scroll down and take a look at the particular project here. And we see here that the right access, and I know they don't have the headings at the top. And believe me, I've asked Microsoft about it. It will be coming eventually, a uh, new interface. But for now, we have to kind of memorize. And here, what I can do is I can just update that either to the business unit or the full organization. So uh, the particular user that belongs to that security role will be able to edit that project. Pretty simple. I was able to solve that problem in just like literally under 30 seconds. We're going the old way by trying to replicate the security roles or use some of the other tools. Probably would have taken me, still wouldn't have taken me all that long, but still would have taken a little bit longer than this method here. So I hope you find that feature handy and be sure to check out some of our other courses on 365.training.